Hello everybody, welcome back to the AI video. This one, we're in chat LLM Teams, and let me tell you, it has gotten a whole lot smarter. With the new update to Root LLM, queries can now be sent to GPT-01 Mini and GPT-01 Preview, the powerhouse, the big models just released by OpenAI. Now, for those of you that might have missed my previous video on this topic, Root LLM is essentially the same as having an intelligent dispatcher for all your prompts and queries. Think of it this way, instead of having or using a single LLM for all your prompts, you now can rely on root LLM to analyze each request and then it will send it to the correct LLM depending on what you're looking for. And also let me give you an example here. If you have a simple question like, hey, what's the capital of Canada? You don't need to send that to a heavy duty LLM. Let root LLM go ahead and send it to something simpler like maybe, I don't know, Gemini 1.5 Flash, for example. If you have questions that require reasoning, mathematics, coding, etc., well, then it will send it to the correct LLM like maybe O1 Preview, O1 Mini, or even Sonnet 3.5, depending on the query or question. So there it is, guys. That's how it works. Now, let's dig in and go through a few examples. All right, for those of you that are following along real quickly here, all you have to do is go to abacus.ai, links in the description below, and then just click on either chat LLM here up at the top or hover over products and click on chat LLM. When you do that, you're going to see here that it is $10 per user billed monthly. I mentioned that because a single license for chat GPT, for example, is 20 bucks a month. So this is half the price and you get access to all of the state of the art large language models. Once you've gone ahead and done that, Click in and get started. All right, so now that you've logged in, you should see a screen that looks like this, but here's the thing. Up at the top, you'll see that I have root LLM selected. If you do not see root LLM at the top, just click on this little downwards triangle, and then here it is right at the top. Make sure it's selected. All right, here we go. So let's start it off with a bang. Let's go with a math question with a little bit of reasoning thrown in there. I'll copy and paste in the question. I won't go into details about it, but basically it's a first year university, you know, SAT type question. I'm going to hit enter, but before I hit enter, let's make a prediction. We're using root LLM and I think this is going to go to either O1 mini or maybe O1 preview, depending on the complexity of the math and reasoning. But let's go ahead and click the go button here and watch this root LLM. Okay. It selected O1 mini and it did it in a split second. This makes sense because O1 mini is great at math. That said, let's create a new chat and now we're going to switch over to coding. Now, coding is really well, I mean, O1 Mini is great at coding, don't get me wrong, but Claude's on a 3.5, especially with the latest update, I believe took a little bit of a jump ahead. So anyways, let's go, uh, let's give an example. Create a snake game, oops, using Python and PyTorch, sure, something like that. Let's just have some fun. The point is, let's see what root LLM selects for the large language models. It should select Oh, it has selected. Okay, look at that. Here we go. Routing to Claude Sonnet 3.5. Fantastic. Sonnet 3.5 is a great choice, and it is doing exactly what we want it to do. It's literally like a traffic controller sending our queries, sending our questions to the right large language models. Wild stuff. While I got you here, though, another thing you got to keep in mind is that this is maximizing your compute points. Everybody gets 2 million compute points at the beginning of each month. And, you know, if you were using O1 Preview to answer simple questions, you'd be gobbling up all your compute points on simple questions. So just keep that in mind. This is fantastic. And actually, while I got you here, let me show you where your compute points are found in case you're wondering. All right, let's take a quick look at compute points. I, I know not everybody's aware of how this works. I'll give you a quick Coles Notes overview. Top right, click on your name like I've done here. And then under that, you're going to see Settings. Click on settings, and then at the top left, go to profile and billing. Here's where you can find your compute points. Now, they give you 2 million compute points per month, which is a lot. Now, you'll see here that I've used 134,000, so I've got 1.865 million <laughs> compute points remaining. So I got a lot of points, and I use chat LLM a lot. So uh, they're pretty generous here, but here's the thing. If you were using O1 Preview, for example, or maybe O1 Mini to a lesser extent, and you were using that for all of your queries, all your prompts, you'll go through your compute points a lot quicker than if you use root LLM like we were just doing. That's going to send the prompts to the correct LLMs based on the query. So, you know, 
You don't need to bring a, a, a tank to a mosquito fight or whatever. The, I don't even know what the, the analogy is. But literally, use the right LLM for the prompt. And that's what Route LLM allows. Now, one other thing here, you can buy more compute points. So, I mean, right now you get 2 million. And here's the thing, if you buy a million more, and I'm not selling it here, I'm just telling you how it works. A million compute points is the equivalent of 70 million tokens for the smaller large language model. So that just gives you a little bit of a context to how much that is. So if I bought a million more compute points, that's 70 million tokens with Gemini Flash or Smog or maybe some of the uh, you know open source type models. So just a little bit of context there. So just keep in mind, use root LLM. It's really, really good. It sends it to the right place, guys. This is just another thing that Chat LLM has shipped. They ship new things every month. It gets smarter, it gets better. I'm not sure who's going to win the race to AGI or uh, super intelligence, but <laughs> I think Abacus AI is in that race now with the way they're shipping. So there you go, guys. Leave a comment. Leave a suggestion. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching.